Welcome to Opt-in Monster. In this video, we're going to teach you how to embed an email list campaign into your Squarespace site. Okay, so once within your Opt-in Monster dashboard, we're gonna go to an inline campaign and we're gonna be creating the email list signup form for our blog or different pages on our website. I'm gonna choose this hustle template, but you, as you can see, you have tons of templates to choose from that'll fit your design needs. So we're gonna choose that, and you'll just want to name your campaign. So, all right, newsletter, inline, campaign, and then choose which website you'd like it to load on, and you can start building. Now, once within our drag and drop builder, as you can see, this, would not be ideal for an inline campaign because it just takes up too much space. So I'm gonna delete that picture off of my inline campaign. And I obviously don't want to have an anonymous head on my inline campaign. I'm gonna go in and I'm actually going to include um, my own profile image for my newsletter. This is something to keep in mind. People will then associate your email newsletter with something more personal. So you might want to consider putting your personal touch onto your inline campaign. To edit the text, we click on the campaign and the text editor will show up on the left side of the screen. And I'm going to write, get my weekly happy mail. We're going to continue to edit the text on our inline campaign. And I'm going to write, want a weekly pick me up? And from there, we can change the font size as well as change the font. And we can also change the color of the font. In the subtext, we're going to want to emphasize the benefit of someone signing up for your email newsletter. So I wrote, every week I send out a big dose of positivity, everything from my favorite quotes to my best recommendations to make your life a little sweeter. Want in? And that will help encourage signups. And on the submit button, we can write sign me up. And remember, you can format it by changing the color, the font, the font size, font weight, etc. Once we have that looking how we'd like it, we'll copy the regular styles in the hover. And I'll simply make some final design changes to my inline campaign. Next, in the display rules, we'll choose the current URL path to contain blog. And we'll go to the next step. We'll make sure the opt-in view is shown. In the summary, we'll confirm that everything's correct. Next. In the integrations tab, you'll want to connect to your email marketing service provider. You'll click the add new integration button. And here we'll choose constant contact, for example, and connect to our personal account. Next, in the analytics tab, we can connect to Google Analytics to get more detailed analytics feedback. And the final step would be to go to the publish tab and toggle from paused to live. And make sure to save your campaign. Next, we'll scroll down and we're gonna to want to copy this code and we're gonna go over to our Squarespace site. Once in Squarespace, you'll select your website and from here, you'll go to the pages tab and scroll down to the blog section or whatever page you're going to embed your campaign on. And for this example, we'll use this post and we'll scroll down and we're going to need to add in a code block. So if you scroll down to where it says code, here, you're going to need to add in your particular campaign embed code and the code highlighted in yellow. You'll just wanna copy and paste those in. Then you'll click on apply. Next, you'll click to save your blog post with your campaign embed and you're good to go. Now you just have to check it out straight on your Squarespace site and it's going to look something like this. It looks great. Now you can actively be capturing emails for your list on your Squarespace site. Thanks for watching this Optin Monster video. Don't forget to subscribe and click here for more informational online marketing videos.